Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about vase and reference image to video. So this is going to be a workflow that takes three flux prompts, generates three images and creates a video out of them. We're also going to go through how to create your own image for reference to image because you don't have to use the flux generations you can kind of composite your own image together throw it into the vase workflow and you'll get a a good generation just download the workflow to start and drag it right into comfy ui okay so the first thing so really all we need to change here to start is just the height and width so i would recommend doing horizontal or landscape videos for this i did give you the option to try portrait if you'd like but for the flux generation so if you want to use three flux prompts and generate a video it works much better in the landscape if you want to put your own already composited image together and put it in, then definitely feel free to tr try portrait. You can go to that section of the workflow and try that out. Okay, so we're just going to start with landscape. So landscape is two. If you want to try out portrait, you put this on one. Okay, and then we're going to put a bunch of prompts in here. So let's just try... Um, I'm just going to actually put a blonde woman walking, a brunette woman walking, and a red-haired woman walking. And then we're going to say three women walking together on a sidewalk. All right, and then that is all you need to do. So after that, we are going to just run this workflow and we will see what our output is. And if you get an allocation on device error, just hit enter and, and hit enter again. This will unload the flux model and then reload the, the vase model. It just out of memories because it tries to load the vase model when it doesn't have enough room after doing the flux generation. And here you can see our output video. It's a little bit of a weird video because the perspectives are a bit weird here, right? Um, it didn't really get our red haired woman very well. You know what, let's try to make the prompt a bit more descriptive. We'll say a blonde woman, a brunette woman, and a red haired woman walking on a sidewalk together in a city street. And then we'll see if we get a better result. And since we fixed all of our seeds, we don't have to regenerate all the flux images. We can just try different prompts until we get something that we like out of the wand sampler. All right, and there you go. A really, really solid generation compared to the reference image. Now remember, this is only the 1.3 B model. We're really preparing for when the 14 B model comes out, but this follows the reference image almost perfectly. The clothes are perfect. Even the this woman has tattoos on her arm. And even though they disappear a little bit, they're there. So this is a really cool workflow. The next thing I want to show you is if you want to, you know, kind of guide the reference image yourself, we can put a an image into um, Photoshop or I'm going to use PhotoP remove the backgrounds and then kind of position everything how we want it. And then we will be able to upload that into this workflow and have a little bit more control. Okay. So this is the image that I created. Um, I basically just used the workflow and generated three images. So I generated these three images and then I just right, uh, just right clicked and removed the background on all three of them. And then I was left with this. So I kind of resized the dog to make them a little bit more of an appropriate size for a dog. I have this kite flying in the background and I have this little girl sitting and she's hopefully gonna be flying her kite in our video generation. All right, so I'm gonna export it as a PNG. We'll go back into Comfy UI. 
All right, and then to be able to upload our reference image, so we just need to drag it straight to the resize image node and drag it in. And then the only other thing you need to do, make sure image is 832 by 480. Um, this will resize it to that for you. But if you upload a portrait um, image and you don't have the portrait option turned on here, so if these aren't ones, then it's gonna widen out your image and it's not gonna look great. So make sure your height and width are correct for either portrait or landscape for this workflow. Okay, so now I need to change my prompt to, so I'll say a little girl with her um, sitting with her dog, the little girl is flying a kite. You might need to try a couple seeds. Um, you don't always get perfect generations first shot, but this is super fast. It's only taking me about two minutes to run through these generations. All right, so I don't know if it knows exactly what a kite is. It kind of makes it into like a bird kite thing, but you can see it has the kite, it has a dog. Um, if we run another prompt or another seed through, we'll probably get a better generation. So let's give it another try. I mean, you can see the likeness of the dog and the girl are pretty good. I mean, she looks almost exactly the same. The hair is the same. And the dog looks very similar as well, even though he goes through a little bit of morphing. Um, I have found that three subjects tends to overwhelm the model a little bit, especially if they're kind of, um, you know, not just like normal people walking or something like that you know, a complex, something semi somewhat complex that the model doesn't have a lot of awareness of, like flying a kite kind of messes with the model. So in these types of videos, I'm not just trying to show you what a perfect result looks like. I also want to show you, you know, the limitations of the model. So that's why I, I typically like to show you um, some not so good results also. Okay, so that's it for this video. Those are really the two options. Generate a flux, a series of flux images and composite them onto one image, use them as a reference image or create your own and upload it and then generate the video from that. Um, if you haven't followed me on X yet, formerly known as Twitter, uh, please head over there and follow me. I, I post some stuff ahead of um, actually posting the video. I kind of just post what I'm working on as I'm going throughout my day. So if you want to see, get a little sneak peek of what, at what's coming, head over to X and check out my page. Uh, follow me on Patreon, follow me on my other socials, anywhere you can give me some visibility really helps me out. I appreciate you for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.